Hey there, it's Nathalie. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad you're here. So, uh, as you can see, I'm in the sewing room and I have been working on pattern for an uh, egg gathering apron for my grand girls. They, uh, my son has, so these are his granddaughters, he has chickens and so the girls have just enjoyed gathering eggs and so I have worked on this pattern to make a little egg gathering apron. And so the pattern is on in my Etsy shop, uh, my haul closet, Etsy.com. And uh, so you can go and purchase it there, download it. Be sure if you order it off of Etsy that you check your emails and that you are able to get to the download because they'll email you the pattern. So make sure it doesn't end up in your spam box. Anyway, this is pretty easy. I've kind of worked out a lot of the kinks and uh, uh, so if you hang around, be sure you know you like, subscribe, leave me a comment. I would love to know what you think of the pattern. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Download your pattern and print it at full size. You want this square to be one inch. Uh, don't scale it down. Then you're going to use paper scissors, not your good fabric scissors, to cut out all of your pieces. And then we're going to tape them together. And you can use regular scotch tape. The body of the pattern is in uh, three sizes, small, medium, and large, and the, but the pockets, the egg pockets, are the same size for all three of those little sizes. I'm going to match the, these two little marks right here, these little hash marks, and tape this. And I'm going to cut, I'm going to do the larger size, just like that. And the pocket sections are taped together. Alright, you're going to put, put your fabric on the fold and pin it in place and cut it out using your fabric scissors. And this is the same on both sides. So if you are doing like a uh, fabric that has a print on it, so it has a pretty side, which is the right side, and an ugly side, which is the wrong side, uh, then you're going to want the pretty side, the right side out. Okay, so the, the ugly side, the wrong side is going to be folded to the inside because we're going to make some marks on here. I have my fabric doubled. Uh, and again, the pretty sides are out, and uh, I, you can use a rotary cutter or a pair of scissors to cut this out. I'm going to use a white water-soluble marker to transfer my marks, my placement lines. So I'm going to make a mark here and here, and then move this over, and here and here. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now, with the other side, you've got to kind of see through here. Like, let's see how we're going to do this. Right here. Make sure my head's not in the way. And here. And you can measure this if you want to just measure this. You can use a uh, ruler and measure up here and here. And then transfer those marks to the right side of your fabric. Then I'm going to open this out. I also want to make, mark my middle, use my ruler and my white pen, my uh, pencil, to mark all the way across. Do that on both, both lines. Now to mark the, pocket, the egg pockets, I'm going to use my Frixon pen. This is a heat erasable pen, and these heavy lines are going to be the stitch lines. These little broken lines here, those are going to turn under and under uh, to make a little hem line at the, uh, at the end of the pockets. And these is, this is going to be marked from the right side on the right sides of your fabric. Uh, this will end up having a hem at the top of this, and then this will have a hem on the side. But don't, don't worry, we'll get there. So I'm going to use my Frixon. I'm going to mark the, on the right side of the fabric. These are going to be the stitching lines. Don't snip real deep, but just deep enough so that you can see it. We're going to have a half inch seam. I'm doing the sides first, and I have them turned under three quarters of an inch. And then I'm going to turn under a little quarter of an inch, like that. This one is already ready and pinned. Move that pin out of the way. And I'm going to stitch close to this edge. And you can stop here 
or you can go ahead and stitch along this edge which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and stitch along this edge also. This is the bottom turned up three-fourths of an inch with a quarter inch turn under and I am going to back stitch this one. And I'll do the back stitch at the beginning and at the end. This is all done. So now I'm going to edge stitch. This is the top of the apron and so this is also kind of an alternate method. You can actually stitch this first and then come back and turn this under. And you can pin this under or you can just turn it under with your finger. And now we're ready for the pockets. This is the wrong side this would be the right side or the pretty side if this was a print. I'm going to turn this under a quarter of an inch and then another quarter of an inch. And so there's where I've turned it under and then turn it under one more time. I've changed my thread color, obviously. You could do a decorative stitch if you wanted to. If you wanted to serge that edge and only turn it under a half an inch, you could do that. And you're going to do this before you make the, the little box pleats. Turn it under a quarter of an inch and a quarter of an inch and then I'm going to stitch here on all four of the ends. And no need to back stitch this because when we attach it to the apron we're going to back stitch it then. To make the box pleats we're starting from the right side. We've got our marks here for this going to be a stitching line and then there's the three splits. Go to the middle one which on your pattern is the heavy one. That was the fold line. And then the two broken lines, that's going to be a stitching line. And we're going to put a pin right there to mark that and hold that. And then we're going to do that with the other three pleats. Stitch about an inch or an inch and a half. And uh, now I can move that pin. I'm going to set my machine to a basting stitch. On my machine, it's like a four and a half. And I am not going to back stitch because I want to be able to take these stitches out really easily. I have a cutter on my machine. And there we go. So you can see it's a nice long stitch and it'll come out really easily after I make, some, make my pleats. So I'm going to stitch all of these and then we'll come back and make the pleat itself. To make the box pleat, take this, and this has a little crease just where I've pinched it. It doesn't have to have that. But where that little split is right there, you're going to take that split and you're going to match it to your seam right there in the middle. Put a pin in there and do that with all of the pleats. I'm going to seam this about a presser foot width and I don't need to back stitch. This is just to hold these little pleats in place. This is how it looks from the back side. And this is how it looks from the front side. It looks like a little cheerleader skirt. Next, match the center of the egg pockets to the center of the apron. There's my center mark. I'm going to do that. And Line it up on the placement line. We're going to do a half an inch seam here. And I want to double check and make sure, just in case, that my spacing is the same. This is right at an inch. And that's right at an inch. It's a little, actually a little under, so I'm going to scoot this just a little bit. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the next pocket. Both of them are pinned, and I'm going to go back to the sewing machine. I'm going to use a half inch seam. I also have 
this color thread on the top and this is in my bobbin. It may not be important to you. Also, I'm going to backstitch at the beginning and at the end of each of the pocket sections. And then I want to make sure that I stay on my uh, the placement line with the edge of my egg pocket. I also set my stitch length back to uh, 3.5 so that it wasn't a basting stitch anymore. It's all stitched in place and now we want to turn this up. And I still have my center mark so I'm going to take this little line right here. Let me zoom in so that you can see that. This little mark, I want that to be on my center. And pin this and we are going to stitch from the bottom to the top, so I'm going to run my pins pointing this way. And I want to measure and make sure this was like an inch. And so I want this pocket edge right there at an inch. I'm going to pin this, just smooth that up. Like that, and put a pin. Come over here, do the same thing. This is an inch. The edge, right there, and right there. We'll repeat this with the bottom section exactly the same way. Find the center mark. I'm going to back stitch these pocket sections at the beginning and at the end in each of the sections. And I want to tuck that in just a little bit. Right up to that line. Those lines are going to go away with heat. With the basting stitch, it's really easy to release these pocket pleats. Kind of give it a little pull here to release some of the thread. Give it a pull. Get the other thread out. That's how easy it is. Cut two pieces of the bias tape at 44 inches. I'm leaving a half inch on each end for a turn under to finish the end. Then I'm gonna, and then I've marked for the straps, for the neck straps, uh, at 12 and a half inches and put it with a pin. I'm going to take the body of the apron, turn it to the wrong side, pin the bias tape to the wrong side of the body of the apron, and we're going to stitch in the ditch of this fold, and then we'll trim and then fold it over and do a top stitching. Also, if the ties are too long, uh, for your little one, just go ahead and, you know, you can try them on before you finish this off. If it's not going to be for a gift, uh, it may or may not matter. I'm right at the top of the apron, and I'm going to back stitch this. I'm going to give it just a little extra support in the neck area, and I'm stitching in the ditch. I'm going to repeat this on the other side. Trim a little bit of this excess 
Don't get too close and be careful don't cut your stitches. It doesn't need to be a big trim, just a little bit. And not the whole length, just the armhole area. You can open your bias tape all the way out with right sides together. This, this way, it covers up those end pieces that want to stick out. Do that with all four of the ends. Next, take the bias tape and fold it over to the front of the apron. And then pin in place. Pin it pretty close to the uh, stitch line. To this stitch line right here. going to do that on the other side and then we'll be ready to stitch. It's almost done. I'm going to stitch close to the edge. I'm going to make sure I catch both of these folds. Where this strap meets the top of the apron, I want to back stitch. And where I'm coming off at the waist I want to back stitch here also. This is the last length and it'll be done. So I think all in all it turned out pretty cute. Uh, be sure you like and subscribe, share me with your friends, and I will see you next time. Bye!